Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andrew G, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Public Affair. I have been really, really excited to be doing this episode of the show. Um, I didn't think in a million trillion years that I would ever have this guest or a guest of this likeness on the show, but um, we did. We wanted to do something different. We're coming up on 100 episodes, and I wanted to use this opportunity kind of to test my skills as an interviewer and test the boundaries and stuff like that. Um, So before I introduce my very special guest onto this episode of The Public Affair, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a few shout outs to some of our sponsors of this episode. This episode is brought to you by Joel Olvera for Brothers Construction, who provides custom home designs and renovations. He also focuses on roofing, remodeling, plumbing, tree removal, electrical work, and so much more. We're going to be PG-13 on this ad. Joe and his entire team of men are building affordable dream homes for you. Make sure you call the number on the screen for your next quote. For Brothers Construction with Joel Olvera, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the B&J refinishing with my boy Frank Biza, who focuses on resurfacing bathtubs, counters, sinks, tiles, and more to original showroom quality, offers five-year warranty on most work, and has the best prices in town, darling. Um, and summertime is here. It's coming up. We can tell because I'm sweating. Um, he also has inflatables, <laughs> mechanical bowls, margarita machines, tables, chairs, a foam machine, and so much more to make your next party super lit. To Frank Biza, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to David Santabanez with Elinia Real Estate. He's the number one sales agent in his office. He'll help you buy a home or sell your property. Make sure you follow him on Facebook at David with Alinea or call the number on the screen, darling, for all your real estate needs. Me and him got to catch up. He put me onto some Uncle Dan's the other day. Never had Uncle Dan's. I really like it now. Thank you, David. I appreciate you, bro. Of course, the Pee Wee's Crab Cakes on the go in Hewitt, Texas, with my girl Anika Armstrong serving the most authentic Cajun cuisine, darling, with a wide selection of signature crab cakes, pasta, seafood, and more. Now, my favorite is the black and chicken seafood pasta, but the top recommended is the Southern Fried Catfish Special served with seafood pasta seafood pasta, potato salad, six fried shrimp, and the fish is topped with Huda sauce, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, because you got to head over to 108 Gym Drive and Hewitt or order online at Order Peewee's Crab Cakes on the go.com. To my girl, Nika Armstrong, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. I truly appreciate you, girl. Of course, to Sonia's event planning and rentals with Sonia Childers. She's an event planner that specializes in weddings, quinceañeras, baby showers, corporate events, and more. Now she's appointments only, so take the stress off planning your event off your shoulders and reach out to schedule a consultation at Shilders1994 at yahoo.com or call the number on the screen to Sonia. Oh, and she gave me that big white chair for my photo shoot. It was gorgeous. It was darling. It was gorgeous. And she's very punctual. She'll come out there and make everything is good. Make sure everything is good. To Sonia Childers, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, to Juan Morales with Waco fencing and stuff. Juan builds privacy fences and chain link fences. Perfect for all that extra home privacy. Also builds wood fences, stone patios, and gorgeous flower beds. Make sure you contact him on the number on the screen for your consultation. My boy Juan Morales, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. I truly, truly appreciate you. All right, guys, so like I said, I have been really, really excited to have, actually, I've been really nervous to have this next guest on the show. I never thought in close to 100 episodes of the show that I would ever have somebody as young as my next guest, if you will, okay? I had to go to all the measures. The parents are outside watching through the glass, okay? <laughs> and I, I, I just was very excited, and I wanted to really just test the, this, the boundaries of my skills on this episode, if you will. And this person has so much going on at such a young age, and I just felt like, you know what? Let's invite her on to the public affair. Plus, I totally know her parents. <laughs> so without further ado, I would love to welcome Miss Aviana Gutierrez on the public affair. She is the daughter of Dominic and Ariana Gutierrez from Soko Soccer Academy. How are you doing? Good, good. good. Are you nervous? I'm like nervous as hell. Uh, <laughs> <Sure>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know. I just never, I mean, you're 14. Okay, yeah. and this is very much an adult show. So when you show your friends, yeah. tell them only watch this episode. Only this episode. Please, only this episode. Because I don't <laughs> want their parents in my DMs all mad. Okay, because, oh, no, for sure. okay, because they watched all the other episodes because Avi was on that one episode. <laughs> okay. No, I mean, you know, first of all, thank you so much. And thank you, of course, to your parents for agreeing to co- let you come on to the oh, show. No problem. Yeah. I was excited to be here. <laughs> I know. You know, I just, I was so, I remember your, your, like, just hearing your expression when you were excited about the fact that I invited you on. But yeah. it was started off as a joke for anybody who's interested. Her, I think it was your grandmother. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we were just talking about it at your aunt's baby shower. Yeah, and um, they were just, I, it just came up, and I was like, "There's no way we could ever make that happen." And then we did. So, like, yeah, no. okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Avi, tell us a little bit about who you are. Introduce yourself to us, please. Okay, so I'm Avi Gutierrez. So uh-huh. I go to university, high school. Oh. Right now, I'm a freshman. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I thought you were a sophomore. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> next year. Next. Year. Okay. Now, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So. 
I'm fortunate. So my quinta is coming up. Okay. Big deal. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm supposed to be hosting the quinta. Yes. Yes. With the DJ. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean the money, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I play for FC Dallas ECNL okay. right now, so that's pretty big. I'm a goal. I'm a goalkeeper. Okay. Got you. So for anybody, the goalkeeper and goalie is like the same thing. Yes. Correct. Okay. Got you. So you go to University High School. Um, you're you're a freshman. You said there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, have you been? I guess in that school district your whole entire life. Is that where you've always gone? Is that like where you grew up and stuff? Or? Um, no. Um, originally I had gone to Robinson okay. till around eighth grade. Now to Chavez. Mm-hmm. And then from then I have been at university. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah. Okay, so do you like it better? Or, uh, <laughs> like, do you have more friends at university? Oh, yeah, or? for sure. I yeah. mean, because, okay, so before I was Robson, I went to mm-hmm. um, Alta Vista Elementary School. Oh, yeah, okay. So I was in Waco ISD, so whenever right. I came back for eighth grade, I was ha- I still had friends from right. Alta Vista that, like, I remembered, and they remembered me, and I was like, For oh, sure. my gosh, no way. Yeah, and yeah. so now we're just, like, we're all pretty close. And I got so, you. Yeah. yeah, okay. Are you making good grades and stuff, too? We got to ask. I, oh, my gosh, did you, yes. Did, like, yes. Did you do your homework before you came to school? Like, why, why is she shaking her head no? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know what? I did. So the whole time here, I kept thinking you were going to get grounded before you came on the show, and then you weren't <laughs> going to be able to come on the show. And then I was going to call your mom and be like, that's going to really ruin my, like, schedule. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so so talk to me, Avi, about your early life. So obviously you're heavily involved in soccer. Mm-hmm. Okay, so how long have you been playing soccer? I've been playing since I was like three. Okay. Yeah, so I started off um, playing rec and wake here in Waco. Okay. Um, so I originally did not like soccer at all. Re- Run- okay. Running was not it for me, okay? I think <laughs> yeah. I, like, I was, it was a waddle. <laughs> it was really? not even a run. <laughs> so, so I started off. Playing the field. Right, right. And then, so my dad, my dad's a goalie. Okay. So. Shout out Dominic. Yes, yeah, shout yeah. out Dominic. Who, who, by the way, is the reason why, like, well, I would say 90% of the reason why this body is snatched now. Because <laughs> I worked out at your dad's gym. I did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, no, he yeah. whooped me into shape. Made me cry lots of times. Okay, me too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would go home after workouts, Avi, and be like. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> he's, he's tough, but he's the real deal. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So he, <laughs> they like to call me his little prodigy. So oh, like, okay. cause he's been training me since I was three. Yeah, always, yeah. I, always to be a goalie. Got you. I mean, so yes, I've like, like everyone, I tried other little sports here and there. Okay. But soccer was it. Like soccer it was, was my thing. yeah, yeah. So. Because so your dad was was heavily in soccer, heavily. Yes. yes okay. He was on the show too, by the way. Um, yes. everybody, episode seventeen. If you haven't watched it, <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll see why. What she's talking about because he's yeah. definitely tough. Yeah. So you were playing soccer since you were three years old. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, um, I guess as a goalkeeper, what is the importance of the position that you play? to the team i think my position is more of like a leader kind of like their anchor oh, okay. and so because like like the other team has to score to right, win right, right for sure so, i mean if nobody's there yeah. and, <laughs> then it's kind of on you it feels yeah. like it's a lot of pressure um yeah. it can be it can okay. be at times but i think with my team like how well we connect and stuff like right. to where it doesn't feel like all that weight is just on me okay but yeah so i but we are kind of the anchor because we see the entire field from where we are right right so it's a lot of communications a lot of talking and so like yeah so So are you guys you know what i I was gonna ask because so i i don't know how i got so heavily involved in soccer with the public affair like i (laughs) sponsor the soco soccer team and i go to games sometimes and it's really aggressive i could say for like the adult leagues you know what i mean oh just aggressive for girls is it really (laughs) like do you guys like pull each other's hit i mean like what's going on on the field i mean are you yelling at your teammates and stuff or um (laughs) not literally pulling each other i mean you're not getting in fights obviously so Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> it depends. It depends. But yeah, so yeah. it is like it's pretty aggressive. Okay. Like we do yell a lot. Yeah, okay. But we know that it's never personal on right. the field. That like we, we can scream at each other on the field, but right. once we get off, we're best friends again. Like, yeah, okay. So uh, yes, and that's yeah. what I was thinking too. Because when I watch the adult leagues and they're so aggressive, I I was wondering when I was doing your notes for the show, I was like, I wonder if the kids, you know what I mean, are that are that competitive with each other. You know where it gets ferocious and stuff. Yeah. You know. So, um, uh, do you do you feel like that you have to be as aggressive with your team, so to speak? It really is like it. Yeah, I think it okay. just really depends on the intensity of the game. Yeah, for sure. So like, there are times where like I will get super frustrated with a team and I will get like. Yo, like yeah, yelling, sure. like, and then there's sometimes where I'm more of like just instructing, right? For sure. And so 
I think it yeah, it just really depends. That's just the nature of the it's, sport. Yeah, it's just the nature. That's just, yeah, of, like, of what's course. Going on, yeah. So, so you know, Avi, I wonder. You know, at fourteen years old, obviously you have a lot of accomplished. Um, it, well, for a fourteen year old, I definitely didn't <laughs> yeah. have anything like that when I was fourteen. Okay, so um, I, I wonder if there's a lot of pressure on you being like somebody like his daughter do- you know what i mean where a yeah. lot of people in the community really looked up to him and you know he was playing a lot of adult leagues as well do you feel yeah. a lot of pressure being that age um yeah for sure i uh-huh. mean especially going to university because my dad was kind of like the big star there <laughs> yeah so it's kind of like they look to me like oh you should be like oh, okay. him you should uh, be like kind of up to where he was yeah. and like i kind of love it like i love oh, cool. being okay. able to like play up to him and kind of like yeah and sometimes i'm like man i'm better than you <laughs> you are your age like <laughs> yeah like, and then we'll have like we'll start like kind of bickering about that but other than that yeah, i feel yeah. like i love it i love okay. that the, that com- kind of community yeah yeah around it you know i was wondering have you tried other positions in soccer or was, was your main thing always goalkeeper okay so okay I tried. <laughs> I tried She's like, we, but we don't like running. Okay. Yeah, okay. Running, it's still, it's still yeah, not it. It's like, not it. Okay. Will, like, okay, so I've gotten better at it. Yeah. Like, sprinting. Sprint. I'm not, uh, I'm not, okay. yeah, I'm not sure. short as stroner. <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, so I just, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so playing other positions, I feel like I tried. I okay. tried a lot. And so, right. And then it just didn't work out. And I was like, okay. and I was like, I was I'm like a purebred goalie. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I was like, so, so the goalie constant. is just for me. And, the, you know, and I just feel yeah. like with that position too, now that you're speaking about it, I just feel like that is such like a, like you were just saying, it's got to be like very high stressful because if the team, if the opposing team makes a goal, like everybody's going to blame me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. is that what the case is? Like, but what about what you guys did? Yeah, you should have kept it from coming over here, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the case because, like, okay. a goalie could do, like, these crazy saves, be, yeah. like, have a perfect game, but get scored on once, and that's all gotcha. people remember. Oh, so okay. it's kind of like, it's kind of like win some, lose some. It's like, yeah. But I think you kind of get used to it okay. as it goes. Like, you learn to not take all that pressure. For sure. So, like, it's more of, like, kind of like a mental game. You have to be really mentally tough to be a yeah, goalie. Yeah, yeah. So like yeah, so. I would cry, Avi. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> oh, no, I, I did would, for the longest. <laughs> no, but yeah, I would because I've seen how like how competitive it gets, if you will, and in the soccer field, and especially for the kids. Kids mean these days. You gotta mean these days. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. But you yeah. know what, Avi? Um, I definitely want to get more into like you know your your position in soccer and everything and all the accomplishments that you've achieved so far. But we're gonna take a quick little break, of okay. course. And when we get back, we're gonna learn more about Aviana Gutierrez. Um, her playing for FC Dallas, right? That's the team. Okay, I didn't yes. want to get it wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and high school soccer and what she has um the goals that she is aspiring to achieve at such a young age when we get back on the public affair you guys stay tuned hey guys i hope you're enjoying this episode of the public affair with miss aviana gutierrez before we continue with this exciting episode i definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode this episode is brought to you by sid rodriguez with elite barbershop located on hewitt drive you can call the number on the screen to book or download the cut app walk-ins are welcome as well they also have marcus guerrero chris reyes santos cordova david rodriguez isaac chavez isai and clint over there making you look super snackish like me because you know they cut my hair every episode of the public affair thank you elite barbershop for sponsoring this episode of the public affair of course the bandas hauling service with julian and anna banda they rent dump trailers you fill it up and they haul it away they also do junk removals and tree rush removals and haul cars in and out of town book now with the number on the screen to bandas hauling service thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair of course to embrace fitness with lisette luna amanda switzer they teach group fitness classes that are fun and dynamic darling they specialize in total body workouts by Excola and by jackie and zumba step classes are monday through thursday at 6 p.m and 7 p.m. You can also contact them to rent the building out for parties and small events to embrace fitness. Thank you ladies so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Eric Carrillo with Alan Samuels Dodge Chrysler Jeep, you can hit him up for your next new ride or pre-owned vehicle. My next guest is about to have a quinceanera. She looks like she needs a new car. You gotta hit, <laughs> you gotta hit up Eric Carrillo. He even offers a $200 same day referral bonus. So if they buy, when you send them, you get $200 that same day. Imagine sending five people, your pockets will be deep, bro. And um, like I said, you know, Avi's keen says coming, she's getting a new car. Okay, contact him with the number on the screen and get you a new ride today, darling. To Eric Adil, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Ooh, and of course, to Takisa Palacios with Onisimo and Lupe Palacios. They provide delicious and affordable tacos for any event. Their meat choices include carne asada, pollo, chorizo, pastor, y barbacoa. Ooh, and you can't forget the aguas frescas because they got limonada, horchata, piña, melon, jamaica, y tamarindo. Oh, I love it so much. They're super affordable and they're absolutely delicious. 
Palacios. They provide all plastic wear as well. So make sure you book with the number on the screen to Takesa Palacios. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Parkway National Insurance with my girl Nancy Polsini, who provides insurance for all commercial trucks and tractor trailers. Um, she also contracts for homes and auto insurance. Make sure you call the number on the screen for all insurance inquiries. Y habla español to my girl Nancy Polsini. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, to Oso's Barbecue with Oso and Juanita Garza, who specializes in the smoked brisket, ribs, chicken, links, and more. Sides include Juana's famous potato salad, side salad, and beans. Hit them up for open events such as Keen says weddings, <laughs> divorce parties, and more. Book now with the catering and the number on the screen. So Juanita and Oso Garza, thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. All right, guys, we're going to get back into it. Here we go with Miss Aviana Gutierrez. Let's get it. Hey guys, welcome back to this episode of The Public Affair with Miss Aviana Gutierrez. So we were just getting to know her about her little soccer background and everything. I shouldn't say little because it's like absolutely dynamic where it's going right now. You know, do you feel proud of yourself at all the accomplishments that you've achieved at 14 years old? I mean, I, I do, I do. Mm. I, like, it's really exciting. Yeah. Like, <laughs> How do you not flaunt it? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, <laughs> it's tempting at times, right, though, right. but like, I think I, I just don't like being super flashy about it. Uh, like, okay, I got do. You. I do like kind of being a lot more chill about right. it. And I'm sure you don't have any time to be super flashy oh, about yeah. it because you're always practicing. You no, know? Really, yeah. you know? Okay, so um, I definitely want to talk about um, playing for... Uh, okay, so you play for FC Dallas, mm -hmm. but you also play um, high school soccer, right? Yes. Okay, with, with university. Yes. So what, what is, it, is it... Remind me, is it varsity or junior varsity or how does that work? Um, so this year I would have played varsity. Uh -huh. I had switched schools in the middle of the year, so UIO is kind of shaky with it. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I would have played varsity. Got you. I think that's kind of my plan for next year. So. Oh, okay, I got you. All right. But, so, you know, I, I wonder, are there different challenges for playing for somebody like FC Dallas and high school soccer? Or do you, like, I mean, because surely it's not all the same girls that yeah. go to the high school team and then go to FC Dallas, right? Yeah. So I, how is it, how are you able to manage playing with two different teams? That's I mean, two different groups of people, obviously. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm really close to all of them. Okay. So it's just kind of like a different environment, like, one is more of like business and one is like more of like, oh, well, these are my like close friends from oh, school. Like, okay. it's, like it's a lot more f like they're about they're really fun. And right. so like I think I just I just have to stay like I stay close with all of them. For sure. For sure. sure. Do you think that you put effort more into like, I guess, the business team than you do high school? Or is it just all the same? I mean, I it's about the same. Like oh, I want to okay. put my, the most effort I can into whatever as, I do as a, whole. Yeah, as a whole. Yeah. So like but I do like kind of like focus more on like the business side oh yeah for sure I would. yeah because like it's more like colleges and okay. all that type of stuff they're really looking right yeah but the high school was like where the parents go and we're just you know we have to be there and <laughs> right. yeah so yeah i love my love my high school no team. for like, sure no yeah, shout so out to I, the high like, school team yeah so yeah. like <laughs> like I don't, i'm really close to all of them like no, i feel yeah. like I just, I yeah. always wondered because you're playing with two different groups of people, if there's like, if it's learning how to play with two different groups yes. of people, you know what I mean? Because everybody, like, there's so many mixed different personalities yeah. now. So I wonder how you, especially as the anchor of the team, as a yeah. goalkeeper, how you handle that. Um, So like, you, you just have to get used to who you're playing with. Sure. So like, people have different playing styles, okay. like they'll respond differently to how you talk to them. So okay. like, in Dallas, it's more of like, they're more professional kind of right, about right, it. Right, okay. So like I could like more yell at them and they would take just take it and go oh, and, like okay. laugh of it. But like towards high school it's kinda of more like dealing with different personalities yeah, and type sure. of stuff. So I just kinda of have to get used to that. Okay. And so and also like I'm I, sure it was challenging at first. It was challenging it was challenging <laughs> yeah, at yeah. first. Like yeah. but I think as it like as the year progressed as like mm -hmm. I got used to it, I think it just it kinda just started flowing. Yeah, yeah. And so like I knew like how everything kinda worked. Totally, so. totally. Okay. Now explain to me what okay, so I was talking to all my friends, right? <laughs> and they were like FC Dallas is like huge. Okay. Yeah. Like that's like a big deal when you go play for something like that. Can you explain to me what that team is all about? I mean, were you like selected? Did you have to try out or were they just like you? You know yeah. what I mean? Like what was the process of that? Um, so I had originally came from Dallas Texans, so so that's okay. the ECNL teams there. And so once, like, they kind of had already, like, heard about me, known about me. So whenever I right. went to try out, they already had, like, a, an idea of how I played. Oh, okay. So they had already kind of liked me. So whenever For I sure. tried out, it just kind of, like, it kind of just flowed. So they, went, oh, okay. so they kind of picked me. 
And so the rest of the year was more of like, because they had another goalie too. Okay, gotcha. So it was more the year it was like battling for positions and all that stuff. Oh, so, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so I'm sure you had to like train extra hard to be oh, on the of team. Of course. Yeah. Like before even going up to us at all, I was training every day. Like oh, basically because wow. my, me and my dad, so we used to <laughs> run like a little tr like uh, like training in the backyard. Like it was Soko soccer, like pre Soko oh, soccer. Oh, I heard that. Yeah. 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 So, yeah <laughs> I, heard I, just, to, I, I wonder what that looks like. Okay. I, I wanted to picture it. It was, yeah. cra it was crazy. So <laughs> we had expanded our back porch. Yeah. And it was like this big like gym outside. Okay, and okay. then we had this big goal in the back. And oh, then wow. so. It was just a lot, and so... So you got up and started training. Yes. Okay. So, and was yeah. being a part of a team like that something that you always wanted to do? Of course. Yeah. Like, I loved playing in Waco, like, yeah. but, like, it was just, like, a different kind of, like, intensity level. Right. Well, there's probably more opportunity. Yeah, and more opportunity. For sure. Like, to be recognized for playing yes. for, for, I guess, a bigger city team, if I'm saying that correctly. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like for FC Dallas. You know, so can you talk to me, Avi, about the training regimen that you had to go through? I mean, to even be accepted into a team like FC Dallas. I mean, surely like when you go try out for like high school soccer, yeah. you know, it's like, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean, but so do you think that it was more intense training to train for a team like that? Yeah, of course. So like I said, I was training every day right. constantly with my dad and it was mm -hmm. more of like me having to constantly be in shape, be constantly be sharp. Wow. So where like I'm not the tallest Okay. So <laughs> going up against these goalies that are like big, so like I had juggernauts. To, yeah, so I, I had to use whatever advantage I could. So it was wow. more like staying in shape, not okay. getting my jump, getting all my technique correct. Okay. So I do train. I train a lot, and I don't. I train with like different trainers. So right. I train with my dad, of course. I still of train course. with him. Yeah. Um, and then I trained with this other keeper trainer. His name's Zach Downs. Okay. And he's amazing. Is he, I love him. Is he from here? No, he's from Dallas. He's from Dallas. Okay, yeah. he's like the Dallas guy. Yeah, right, gotcha. and then I also train with the actual keeper trainer for FC Dallas. His, okay. name's, his name's Rudy. Mm -hmm. And so I train, so like I'm constantly training, just yeah. like trying to round out my game. It's a lot of training, yeah. Ollie. Do you ever get tired of it? Are you ever just like, come on? <laughs> <laughs> of course. I mean, like, you who know? does it? <laughs> like, yeah. Like sometimes I will, I will just need like a rest day for, for sure, like for focus sure. on school, just like trying to like keep the balance yeah. of like all of it. Okay. But I think I just like, I really love mm. it. So it's to the point where like, I'm used to it. Right, I've right. adjusted. And so it's just. I think easy. it's so important that you just said that too. And I'm going to call I'm going to kind of call your mom out on this one here. If, she, if I say this wrong, just let me know. But I think I remember your mom making a post saying that she, she let you stay home when they'd have a mental health day. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. No, but I think that, that we should practice that because you, especially for a student like you, who you still have tests that go on, you yeah. still have homework and then you're playing for FC Dallas and then you're playing soccer for here and then you have to go train. Like I'm sure that that weighs in i just have this show and i'm stressed out you know what i mean so i, I wonder for you um you know how important that was for you oh yeah of course like sometimes like it will it will get kind of draining and it will like it'll just get frustrating uh -huh. but i think i'm just more of like mental like mentally i've kind of like kind of adjusted right and then so it's just gone to the point where like I know like what's like what to expect yeah, and like sure. how everything goes on. So like I will have times where I need to take a break and I'll right. take those breaks. So right. it just keeps the balance going. Do you find it's easy to have that discussion with your parents? Like, look, guys, I'm I need a minute. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? So yeah. yeah, of course. I mean, my dad, my dad went through the same thing. So oh, he yeah. kind of like so he, he, understand. he understands, and okay. so. And my mom, my mom's very understanding as well okay. with it. So it's just a lot easier. Yeah. Well, especially because a lot of parents, like, you know, they, they might push their kids to that yeah. brink of like, I'm losing my mind. You know what yeah. I mean? And things like that. We don't want that. Oh, happen. Yes. You know? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> okay. So, so then going back to FC Waco, I guess. Okay. So you're, you're training really hard and stuff like that. Was, did you ever have like those, how do you as a young teenage girl, battle with those doubts that might run through your head that you're like you know i might not make this team i don't think i'm good enough like like you probably critique yourself a lot you know yeah, what i mean of course. so I, I feel like you know obviously adults handle critique different than teenagers yeah. you know what i mean so so what do you do to kind of keep yourself level-headed and positive about the experience i mean i think it's like the critiques i get from like my coaches my dad everything yeah, uh, for it's sure. like it's like I know they want me to be better yeah. and that they're trying to make me better. So uh -huh. I think that's what keeps me in it. Because, you know, it's not when they're yelling at you that they don't like you. It's when they stop talking to you. <laughs> and that's oh, wow, really? like you're more should be scared about it. <laughs> but, yeah, I yeah. think I actually take my I think I take my critiques better now than I used to. Okay. I used I used to not have used to be so 
I guess. Like you probably took it personal in the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, for I used sure. to, in the beginning it was crazy because I used to cry like every game. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get scored on and you see yes. tears. <laughs> oh, for sure, yeah. No, I got, was FC Dallas, was that a team that you had to, I guess, try out for more than once? Like did you make it the first time or? Um, so it was like a week of tryouts. Okay. So it's like Oh wow, week. really? It's like it's so it's a week of open tryouts. You okay. come to the tryouts and so and then they kind of just see how you play, how, like, if they like you or not. Okay. Just, like, your personality overall, if you can fit with the team, if you okay. can just, like, the playing style. Oh, so it's just more than just being really good on the field. Yes. Because if you, you have a, like, I almost said a bad word. If you said, <laughs> if you have a crappy attitude, yeah. they probably don't want somebody like that on the team. Yes. they wow. They do strive for more, like, coachable players, players that can right. keep a level head. Easy to work with. Yeah, easy to work with. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. I never thought about that, mm -hmm. right? Because you don't want no, you don't want no yes. teammate yeah. that's difficult to work with. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you come across that. How does Avi deal with that? Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I can I do I get mean, frustrated. At times. Yes, I mean you don't want to be de classe, obviously, yeah. but you know, like um, I do get frustrated at times, okay. but I try, I try to work it out, For I try sure. to work with it, like because there's like they're on the team, so like. Yeah. You just have to make the best out of your, right. best out of your situation. Yeah, I, and you know, there's always has to be good sportsmanship. Yeah, that's that's of being course. presented on the field and stuff like that. How did did, did your dad play a major role? I guess um, with teaching you good sportsmanship and stuff. Of course, yeah. like. I got like when I was younger, it got to the point where like I lost the game and I wouldn't even shake team's hand. I would, oh, I would wow. just start walking. Oh, and so you so, were trying to be a little bougie. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Avi, you got to be humble yourself, okay? Yeah. So that's when I was like way younger though. So, yeah, like, I got you. So my dad used to just like you would tell me like that's not that's not okay. That's okay. Like, got you. Like it's like I need like if I'm losing, I need to work harder. Okay. It's not anyone else's fault. Okay. Got so, you. I think that kind of like. Yeah. Like brought me in. But, but be it, honest yeah. though, when you do, if whenever you lose and stuff, it be, it's hard to shake the other team. It, it is. I it would, is. I'd be like, I just kind of look at them and I'm like, <laughs> right? No, <laughs> but you always do want to show good sports. Yes. I mean, you know, I, that's, you know, whatever. Okay. So I definitely want to talk about, um, you know, I, and you have to help me out with this part, Avi, because <laughs> you just got, uh, you went to Virginia yes. for a scouting opportunity, if I'm not. Yeah. yeah, explain that situation to me because because then you got um you got chosen to be on this really important team or, or t talk to me about the the situation. Okay, so because okay. I got it wrong. So. Okay, so <laughs> Virginia. So Virginia, you were they looked at us for like over a year. Okay, got you. And it was I think thirty two clubs and okay. then fifteen states like East, Central and East. Yeah. Yeah. So um. So they had looked at you over a year and you were giving an invitation and so oh, wow. after and so you would receive your invitation, they'd pay for your hotel, they pay for your food. Oh wow. Like, yeah. Okay. So but it was more of so it was more it was like really big scouting opportunity. Right, you know, right. kind of like your resume to okay. like yeah, and so it gets you like a lot of looks and everything like is that. It, is this to be accepted into like colleges and stuff like that, or was this for um? The, is it the Team USA or what am I missing here? Okay, I feel so like I'm getting it wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, um, so you have to school me. Okay, <laughs> it's both. It's it's both. Okay, so, gotcha. Like, it, like I said, it's to build a resume. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, Colleges will look and see that you're in that camp. That camp was like for oh, like okay. the, like for like elite players. So, oh, okay. Like, Colleges look at that camp. They see you went to that camp. You yeah, say yeah. players, and then you say the U.S. national team mm -hmm. as well. So it's like more for those scouts to oh, see okay, that you, you were there and that you like right. how you performed at that camp and all that. I got you. Okay, and then so you um you were cho like as far as the goalies go, mm -hmm. where you were chosen along with three others or out of three others. Or how did that work out? Okay, so uh, along with the clubs, yeah. so they chose four. I think it was me and then three other goalies. Yes, wow. so there were four goalies. Okay. I think I think more got invitations. For I sure. don't know. But, yeah, yeah. Um, we were, we're just like, worried about Avi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <so>. yeah. <laughs> well, what was that like for you though? I guess to be accepted into a really important like oh my, program for I mean, was, especially at a young age, Avi. Like, I mean, like, were you, were you just excited? I mean, obviously, you can't go celebrate the way we do and stuff. So, <laughs> you know, like, like, what was going through your mind when this like finally happened for you? If I have now, I was like, oh my gosh, can't wait to post this. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're all about the TikTok. Yeah, okay. I was like, oh my gosh, so, I cannot wait. So, wait, did you have to go to Virginia? But, I mean, did your parents get to go with you, or that was something you had to do by yourself? So, um, a parent got to go with me. Okay, gotcha. So, 
So it was my dad that went with me this time. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering. I was like, oh, that sounds yeah. Cool. <laughs> I don't know about Yeah. You know, so, but did you have, I mean, I guess, did you have a lot of time to at least experience being in a different state or was it all just soccer? It soccer, was soccer? all just training all oh, day. Wow. So, like, okay. We would start. So we'd start and it was mandatory breakfast. You went yeah. and got breakfast. And then after you got breakfast, you went straight to the field. Okay. Came straight back to the hotel. After you were done with your first training, straight back to the hotel, had lunch. Right. Had a meeting about the training and then went <laughs> back and then went <laughs> back to the field, trained, oh, wow. and then you had mandatory dinner okay. and then another meeting. Okay. And then and by that time, you're already super tired. You want to go to sleep. Are you just, okay, so you're done. Yeah. yeah. So so then once the, I guess, the program is over, then what's after that? I mean, do they just say, oh, they, they, do they reach out to the colleges for you and stuff like that? Or um, is it just something for you to build yourself? I think it's more something to build myself. Like, like put on your resume, so to yeah. speak. Oh, I got to participate in this camp, yeah. which ex- I guess extended my skills as a soccer player, if you will, or something like that. Does that make sense? Or- yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So it was kind of like that. Mm-hmm. And so I think from there, like... I started getting, I started seeing, like, more colleges, like... Okay, like, I got you. And, but I just recently went to... To a and Yeah, I saw that. So, what yeah. was that like for you? It was, it was amazing. Okay. I, originally, I wasn't really looking at, like, right. colleges, so, like, Ooh. well, I was looking at colleges, but, like... No, so, yeah. Whenever a and reached out, like, they didn't really, they can't reach out, but, like, I got okay. an invitation to a camp. Right, for sure. Yeah, and so... Let me fix your mic, Avi. There you go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, they sent me an invitation to the okay. camp, and then I got to go, and it was, like, it was amazing. Like, right, it felt sure. like, and it was surrounded by girls that were, like, the same level as I was, yeah, so okay. it was, it was just a really fun experience, yeah, and yeah. it was, like, great to learn about the college, because now, like... Like, cause I'm looking oh. more in Texas schools. Girl, high school is gonna be over before you know it. Oh my gosh! Okay, yes, I feel so like scared. I was a freshman yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm 30 now. Right? So, so, is there a particular college that you are really like wanting? Like, I really want to be accepted into play soccer at this college, or? Um. So I'm. Like kind of, but like it's more of like whoever offers me the most money. Oh, to go to their oh, college. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but yeah, so. <laughs> but I'm really cute. looking okay. at um, in state schools. Yeah, so, okay. Because I'm I, I do get homesick. I get really homesick. Okay, I got you. I think I, I yeah. So yeah, okay. I don't want to go too far out. But for sure, yeah. for sure. You know what, Avi? Gosh, I was so okay. So you play. So the teams that you play for are FC Dallas. Mm-hmm. And and then the high school. Yes. Just those two, correct? Yes. Okay. So you're constantly having to train. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which, um, you know, and I've watched you train with your dad at Soka Soccer Academy yeah. before open play. And you guys are beasts. <laughs> all, all the kids are beasts. You know, I think, isn't yeah. Santos your cousin? Santos, yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I we used to work out with him at Soka Soccer. <laughs> yeah. He's a beast too. And you guys are all like little beasts. Okay. <laughs> and so anyway, that's besides the point. So you play for these two soccer teams. Okay. And then um, you're in school, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And you're constantly having to go out of town to go practice mm-hmm. with FC Dallas and stuff, which then I'm sure you have games afterwards and all that. I think you have a game this weekend, maybe, or something? Yes, I play solar this week, Saturday and then yeah. Dallas Texans. Yeah, because your mom was like, only Fridays work. And yeah. Like, right, right? And so um, when do you when do you have time for, like, school? I mean, do, does it does it get in the way and stuff like that? Like, I mean, Because surely you have to, like, yeah. maintain good grades. Oh, yeah, of course. Play. Yeah, you know? Of course. School comes first, completely. Okay, got you. But, yeah, so it does it does get kind of... Frustrating, like challenging. kind of like challenging yeah. after a while, but I think I, I it's more like getting into a routine and sticking with the routine. Okay, got you. Because like if like I'll get off and then I'll be behind and like okay. it'll just it's just like off and on, especially because I miss some like I miss school because of soccer. So oh, like got you. I have to get all that work and then do all that oh, work. So wow. I I sleep in the car on the way there because like, <laughs> but on the way back there's beauty I, first, darling. Yeah, I was like, okay. but yeah. I I do do my homework on the way back. Okay, from, on the way back from practice. Yeah, I have to make sure I like stay on it. So, right, right, for sure. Yeah. Oh wow! I bet it sucks when you have like projects and stuff, like of reports. Course. Oh my okay. gosh! I just had I just had this big pro- pro- project Pro-pro- for English. Uh huh. Oh my gosh! And it was it was, <laughs> it was brutal. Like- you know, I loved English when I was in high school. That was my that was my subject. Oh yeah. No, for Anything me, it's writing. math. Uh, you like? Are you a math yes. mat- a math person? Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say what your favorite um thing in school is, and it's math. Math and biology. Okay. Those are my two. You're that one. All right. <laughs> okay. You're that one person. You know. Okay. So yeah. So so you're basic. I guess you're your normal routine Mm -hmm. is doing the practice and then on the way home you get to do your homework and all that stuff yeah i mean do you catch yourself i mean like and then are you just dragging the next day at school or everything is just like normalized at this point 
Um, I think, yeah, it's just more basically normalized. Okay. In the beginning, it was kind of like I was just dragging on in school. But yeah, now, yeah. now it's like my sleep schedule is adjusted and gotcha. changed. And then sometimes I will sleep in in the morning just a uh-huh. tad bit because... She deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> just like the practices yeah. where they're like 7.30 to like 9. Okay. And so like we'll get home like around... 11 11 30 oh wow okay. so the next morning i'll sleep in till maybe like 7 30 yeah and you know what Avi? i'm just gonna say they plays with some soccer schedules because <laughs> even the team like the adult team they be playing at nine o'clock at night oh yeah girl i'm in bed like what are exactly. you talking about nine exactly. o'clock? <laughs> okay like we're like so tomorrow we'll be like uh, bro you're gonna come to this game in temple no oh. i'm not going <laughs> to the game in temple and it starts at 9 30 and it's tuesday no I'm not, doing, yeah, I'm not doing all that you know what i mean and, yeah, and, I yeah, all i have is work in the public affair but you 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 still have to go practice for another team. You still have school. You still have all that stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? So I feel worse for you. But anyway, um, gosh, Avi, that's that's so exciting with all the um, cool things that you have going on in your life. You know, so I definitely like you as a person. You're the oldest of yeah. all your brothers and stuff. Yes. Do you feel like there's a pressure? And then you're the only girl for that matter. <laughs> right. And right. And so yeah. yes. and so, um, do you feel like there's a lot of pressure? Like, OK, I'm the oldest sibling. And then your siblings are like considerably younger than you are. Yeah. Do you feel sure. like that they're looking up to you? And it's like, OK, I can't like fail because then if I do, then they're going to think they can give up um sometimes i do sometimes okay. especially with um my little brother soren now he plays soccer oh okay so i sometimes it's more of like i need to do well so that maybe he can like maybe he can look up to me right and then like i want to get like my name out there so maybe like they can be like oh that's obvious little brother right you right know? like he should be like he's good like his, his his dad played. Right, right. His sister played. Like, um, like I feel like that opened a lot. You guys of, like, are starting like this whole chain. Oh yeah, the <laughs> baby know, too. The, the, okay, the baby too. The Gutierrez's. <laughs> yes. like, you know, um, gosh, I was gonna say too. Um, I guess uh, in regards to like personal hobbies. I mean, do you have time to have hobbies and stuff like that with everything going on? I mean, it's kind of challenging. I yeah. mean, I do. I do choir. Oh, okay. Uh, they, oh, yeah, so you'd so, be singing. Yeah. <laughs> I, got the, I got the pipes. Oh, do you? Yes. Is that, are you going to sing for us on the show? Ooh. Uh, but you got the pipes, Avi. Okay. That's limited. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, we're not going to put her in the vocal booth and have you sing a whole song. <laughs> I mean, you could. No. Oh, <laughs> <Avi. Okay. laughs> no, I got you. Okay. So, gosh, you know, I, I wonder, you know, I... And, uh, with you playing soccer, is there anything else that you're wanting to do? I mean, because, I mean, you're, you're still relatively young. You're 14 mm-hmm. years old. You're about to have your keen out of here in like two minutes. Oh, and, so, okay. and so I'm wondering, do you ever think, you know, I want to try something different going forward? Like maybe like, like this is what I want to be when I grow up or is it just soccer or like what, what are some things that you want to achieve going forward? Going like forward, I mm-hmm. think. Soccer is a big part of my, like, it's all I'm used to. Yeah, for sure. So, like, I never really considered, like, maybe, like, doing anything, like, kind of different. Mm -hmm. I mean, I tried to play volleyball for high school, and it was was not it. It wasn't your thing? (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah, so. (laughs) Were you not good at volleyball? (laughs) It was I was mid. I was mid. Okay, I you were mid. <laughs> what does that mean that you were mid? Okay, so I wasn't. I wasn't. I've never heard of that. Okay, so. Oh, are you saying no shit? <laughs> she said, stick to soccer, girl. You <laughs> um, so, like, I wasn't, like. Uh-huh. Okay, I wasn't good. You weren't at the part. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is that hard for you to say because you're so nice in soccer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Competitive, okay. like that's what I. I think that's more of it because like I've grown up in like yeah, really competitive sure. like yeah. surrounding. So I guess like losing and not being good at something is right. kind of like oh. Okay, I got <laughs> like, you. Yeah. But as a, so as a 14 year old though, I mean, do you get to spend a lot of time with friends and stuff too? And you guys get, or is, or is everything just practice, practice, practice? No, I do. Yeah. I think a big part of that is like finding people that like can relate to you and that oh, yeah. will like go with your schedule. Like mm-hmm. my best friend. My best friend Adam, like he plays mm. basketball for like a really really good team, so he kind of okay. under- so he understands like the training and all that stuff. So oh, that's cute. Y'all talking the phone and stuff, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh. Hey hey uh, hey hey hey! hey. Oh, yeah, no, I was gonna say using up the minutes, but she doesn't know what minutes are on cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, so, so what is it that you like to do with your friends and stuff? Just because I'm curious, because at 14, I'm sure, I mean, we didn't have cell phones and stuff when I was 14, so. We we talk, we, we gossip a lot. We talk yeah, a lot. Okay. We talk yeah. a lot. And so, 
we'll talk and then we'll mm-hmm. hang out sometimes. Like we'll be like, hey, like you want to hang out at my house, hang out at your house. And then, right, right. Like I have also really close friends. Like Anna, okay. like a friend Annalise, like just went with me to. She went with me to my final at Dallas Cup. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So she she's so close that we, we travel. She'll travel with me. So like we're like we'll be together a lot. Yeah. And so yeah, so I think it's just more of finding people that like are supportive. Yeah, and supportive. But and then you know you mentioned something uh, that was very important as well that I really want you to like hold on to as you're growing up older that you hang around with like minded people that are doing kind of because as you get older too we uh, unfortunately we just kind of just fall apart sometimes you know what i mean and then you 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 don't want to ever hang out with somebody who has nothing going on yeah i'm sure your dad's giving you really great like like, you know life (laughs) advice but just take that for me because it happens when you're 32 (laughs) you know what i mean gosh okay so i i guess you know ariana i mean we ariana that's your mother aviana (laughs) you know we do have to wrap up soon um what's next for you avi i mean so you have this really great thing going on with the dallas team and everything i mean is there another team that you're striving to play for or what's going on there i'm really striving so like national team and then going playing in college is a big one of course so yeah those two right now are just like really like I'm set on. Okay, got you. So, yeah, so yeah. that's a big thing. You know, God, do you, do you uh, I think you just, uh, it's important for you to talk about the hard work that you really put in too, because I think it's important to just kind of let the audience know none of this was just sat in your lap. Nobody yeah. said, oh, this is Dominic's daughter. Yeah. You know, so we just gave this to her. You know, I mean, can you, can you just give us a little bit of like, like really just explain to us about the hard work that you put in just to be where you're at today. So like in the beginning, like just going up to Dallas, I had <laughs> to try out with um, Kevin Salazar. Uh-huh. He's a really, he's an amazing coach. Oh, cool. So I have, was constantly working out, constantly training, like staying on top of it because I still was battling another goalie during tryouts and that goalie had been there for a long time. Oh, got you. So, but, <laughs> so I had been working and working. And so whenever we went to Kevin, uh-huh. And I made that team. It was like the grind never stopped. It was more, it was a constant, it was a constant work. And just to stay at the level you're at, but also you want to strive to be bigger. Always be better. Yeah. Yeah. So like there's never more of like, there's no getting comfortable where you're at. Got you. Got you. Okay, yeah. for sure. So so there's still more to be said for Avi going forward. Yes, of course. Okay, yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, Avi, gosh, you know, thank you so much for coming on to the show. I hope you had a really good experience. You know, it was my first time interviewing somebody as young as you. And, you know, you should be proud of yourself because you are officially the youngest person that's ever been on the public affair. Okay. <laughs> and like I said, when you when you share it with your friends, please only tell them to watch episode I will, I will. 99 and that's it. Okay. So, um, okay. So what's the, obviously you're still in high school. College is next mm-hmm. for you. Okay. Um, we're just looking at the college that offers the most money for you okay, yes. at this point. Okay. And then I guess like, so uh, when you're, when you're career wise, are you wanting to play like professional indoor, like our friend Wormy, or are you just wanting to like coach or, or do you want to do something completely different? Are you trying to be a lawyer? You know what I mean? Or, um, so like, I really do want to, I want to be like the bigger, like soccer player kind of like play. I, it would be nice to play for a national team, but professional, but yeah. I would also like, I've also like looked in, looked into like coaching because coaching seems like it would be an amazing job. Oh yeah, for Especially sure. like that I look up to like my, my, this girl, this like this girl, my, my dad formerly tra- trained Cameron oh, okay. Carter. She's now like the assistant coach for Baylor. Oh cool. Yeah. And yeah. so, yeah. So it's just like, I would love to coach. I'd love to like, I also would like to teach. Okay. I guess I, I really would like to just like kind of give back. So yeah, you. I see a lot of your dad in you, <laughs> for sure. But I don't see you as the type of person that yells. Ooh, <laughs> your dad yells. Yeah. It's <laughs> he's, he's a yeller. He, is a, he used to yell at me at the gym. Yeah, he did. I, uh, he he yells at everyone. It's okay. <laughs> no, but you know what? He's he's a really great coach. So, um, gosh, Avi, thank you so much for coming on to the public. No for, problem. Yes, like, I, hope you had a really, I would love to revisit this conversation with you. I want to see. I can't wait to see what's next for you in life. And as 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 you're older, I just want you to always remember: stay level headed, stay mm-hmm. humble. Always remember that, you know, just strive to be the best that you can be and always show good sportsmanship. Of course. Okay. And, and, you know, always, you know, make sure you keep your mouth shut. That was just supposed to be cute. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Public Affair with Ms. Aviana Gutierrez. You were amazing. Thank you. And we all wish you the best of luck with your career in soccer and what happens in the future. All right. Before we leave, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to a few more of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, we're going to give a shout out to Soko Soccer Academy. What's up? Dominic Gutierrez and Ariana Gutierrez, who are the parents of our guests today, Ms. Aviana Gutierrez, located at 3304 Franklin Drive. They offer team, small group, and individual skill training. They also have elite skill 
skills training to make your kid a superb star athlete. I mean, look at Avi. She plays for FC Dallas, all right? Open play on Mondays and Wednesdays for ages 16 and older at 8.30 with Mara. You know what I call Mara, right? Silly buns. Anyway. And only $5 <laughs> to play. Follow on Facebook at Soko Soccer Academy and on Instagram at Soko Soccer 254. Thank you guys so much for our, I love yous. Thank you guys. <laughs> uh, Jay Fettel and Poke with Junior Fuentes, Thomas Roberts, and the entire family. They provide delicious, savory Japanese crepes and poke bowls. They also have handcrafted Thai rolled ice cream for dessert. You can choose from the menu item or create your own like I like to do just because I like to. We're keeping it PG-13. <laughs> Locations on University Park Drive and Hewitt Drive. You can order online at jpedaltx.com. You know, Avi, that's really good food for you. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's healthy. Okay, I know you I love to... them. Oh, yeah, don't you love Jay Pedal? Yes, I love, love Jay Pedal. I love, I just love Jay Pedal. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode. Of course, the Boyo Box and Audio with Jeffrey Monreal, home for all your LED needs and auto accessories, installation of stereos, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building custom subwoofer enclosures and much more. Definitely a jack of all trades and your one-stop shop to get everything done in one roof. My boy Jeffrey Monreal with Boyo Box and Audio, thank you for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, the fat boy Michelada and Botana, my boy Junior Banda, who provides the best Miches and Botana plates for yourself or for a party. Menu of tons of different items, including Botana bowls, chamoy, pickles, and more more locally operated so make sure you get the best and not the rest and for all of Avi's friends watching he can make the micheladas with mineral water and that's how you should drink it because it's delicious. And that's how I drink mine. Okay. Follow on Facebook and Instagram at Fatboy Michelada y Botana and place your orders now. Get the best and not the rest to Mr. Junior Banda. Thank you so much for all your support, bro. I truly appreciate you. Of course, everybody who tuned into this episode, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Miss Aviana Gutierrez. Thank you so much for coming on to the public affair. She, she's the princess of the public affair. How about that? Okay. Of course. <laughs> yes, the first princess of the public affair. And don't forget, darling, to always keep it between us. <laughs>